Sampling found images can help you build up a feel for the texture and atmosphere of a work. Try doing rubbings or ripping out interesting pictures or articles in magazines. So that you build up a resource of images and inspiration. So I do quite a lot with photographs, you know, just photograph things and then um, if I print them off, I want to get a digital camera so I can actually work more, um, print them off and then print or draw over the top of them and get an idea of where I'm going that way. Just you're always, just always drawing, constantly drawing in your life, so you always, well it's nice when you get a book to put it in a format so you can actually have an organised, well not really organised, but more a continuous series of drawings going through. I get the images and it usually triggers something. That's why I would, you know, cut it out or and I'll glue it in the visual diary. And so when I go back to it, um, it's, a, it's sort of, it's in my memory. But then every time I go back to it, there's a new reading at the same time. And I kind of have this conversation and then I will get to a point which is where I'm at now with these ones where I just sort of scribble them down and I started taking photographs of the different stages they go through and then I um, look at them and start placing them in a sequence that I see there. They have a continuum about. As far as relation to the, the books and the art goes, um it's sometimes you see something that you, you've caught in, in the book itself um, and you want to actually put it into canvas, you're sort of not quite finished with the whole schematics of the drawing and you, you do push it onto a, put it onto a canvas. You probably only enact about 1 80th or something like that, some minor proportion you use for your actual artwork itself. It's pretty personal. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's readable by other people, really. I don't think there's anything in there that I couldn't share. I'm a fairly open person, so... Sometimes to show people, I had one exhibition where I had the books on display so people could look through the books within the exhibition. Um, the only problem with that was there was a few pages that I didn't want anyone to see, so I had to stick them all together so no one could get at them. But in my earlier books, which were, as I say, a bit more public property than anything else, um, that's fine for everyone to look through, but sort of tried to always keep one that was really personal and one that was sort of public-ish. Not really, never as public itself, but you're, you're drawing for yourself, but sometimes you don't want to shock people with human nature. The visual diary is quite personal. Um, because I suppose um, you can read a lot into the images that's in the visual diary, um, the thoughts that somebody might have in terms of like collecting and arranging images in certain ways. Um, but it's always interesting to have someone commenting on um, you know, the pages, certain pages in my visual diary and, and um, having them to share what they thought they see in the images. It's the journey of my life, I guess, and so that's always going to come through in what, you, what I uh, put on paper. Sometimes it's a way of um, coming to terms with things that have been um, painful or things that have been happy that I want to re-encounter. You get an absolute pleasure from it, so... It, yeah, it, drawing itself in the physical sense, it's, it's... Yeah, and it's an escape in a way, it's also a... Yeah, it's, it's getting a bit out of, out of the world and into your own consciousness, I guess. Um, yeah, no matter what you're doing, you, you tend to just, well, I don't know, you blow away in your own drawing, you keep yourself amused, you 
you never have a dull moment when you're in your drawing book. There's always something to do. <laughs> Your visual diary is a treasure for you and your friends and family. Keep it safe and put your name and address in the front of it in case it should go on its own journey. We have looked at the visual diary as a tool for everyday use and seen how different artists use them. Sometimes it's important to get your ideas out on paper and not just have them floating around in your head. It can be rewarding to look back through your old pages and dig up past dreams and inspirations, whether you've used them or not. Your visual diary is a roadmap for your creative journey so far. It tells you where you have been and where you might be going.